play. I mean, somebody's got to step up and make a big play when, when things are down like that. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And uh, yeah, I just got somebody's got to come and bring the energy and uh, rally the troops a little bit. Is there is, is there somebody that can do that? I mean, especially among the older guys and seniors. I mean, it, it's, is there somebody who can stand up and say it's not happening? Uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, you got <clears throat> some seniors on defense and. What it comes down to is, man, you can talk how you want. Like, you got a lot of guys who can say good, good things and stuff, but I mean, one of us just has to step up and make a play. Just how big an opportunity do you think this is Saturday? You not only can you just get the ball in your game and your year, but it's a possibility to win a huge road game and a great team from the SEC. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Like you said, it's a great opportunity to go play against a, a real good SEC team. and. Uh, Make a statement and uh, yeah, get opportunity. How tough is it to get over the belief hump, basically, that you have to make a stop to believe that your defense is going to be able to do it, and then it doesn't always come? How, how tough is it just to get over that from a confidence standpoint? Um, I mean, what's happened has happened, and uh, you know, we're going to move on past that. And like you said, once we make one of those stops, I think it's just going to keep happening. Uh, yeah, people. wanted to see the defense be more aggressive uh, in terms of just coming out of the third and the third quarter. I think just a start. Marcus just said, you know, we have confidence in our defense. We were getting a good push from our front four, confidence in our secondary. We felt like we could just play a base defense and still handle things. Is that kind of, would that be an explanation as to why we didn't see a lot of aggression in terms of blitzing the money? Yeah, I mean, like Marcus said, we have confidence in and all the guys on our defense, and we trust our coaches to go out there and put us in the best situations. And for whatever reason, the second half it just didn't come together like it, uh, like it should have. You know, obviously, you know, you hold them on field goals in the first half, totally, and then they get five touchdowns in the second half. Is there anything you can identify in terms of what was different out there for either on their part or your part? Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure what what happened. I, mean, I watched the film, and yeah, I, I don't it's hard to watch. I'm not sure what really happened. And obviously, you, you wanted to have the win, and you're disappointed that you didn't. You personally, you had a, a, a pretty decent game. How much just more comfortable are you with your role and your ability to be active, playing a lot of a lot of different, whether roles, whether it's rushing the passer or just playing linebacker, just for you personally? Um. Yeah, I mean, from the Indiana State game to the Bowling Green game, I've uh, made some improvements. And, uh, after the first game, playing a new position, a new defense, you kind of get the, the jitters out and uh, just go out there and play, and I uh, think that's what I tried to do on uh, Saturday. What did you do? With, you saw the pick just take us through uh, through that play. Yeah, um, watching film the, the week leading up to it, uh, the coaches saw that that would be an opportunity for us to uh, get an interception on that specific route and formation, and uh, really just kind of made my drop and. Kind of threw it right to me. Glad it was as much you as it was.